hey y'all what's up so i wanted to come and bring you guys another video this video is going to be about avoiding drama in basic military training so to me it's very imperative that anybody going into basic training like avoid drama as much as you can avoid it like try your hardest to not get involved in drama because BMT itself is stressful. Like, it's not even the physical part that's stressful, it's the mental. Basic training is meant to break you down. Basic training is meant to break you down. Like, you're away from your family, you're away from your friends, you're people that you don't know. It's like literally like 40 plus of you all in one dorm. And these are people that you, you know, like, you don't know these people from campaign. They don't know you. Everybody's not raised the same. You know, you have different upbringings, you know, versus other people, different cultures and backgrounds. So it's hard. Like, it's tough um, adjusting to people. And the last thing that you want to have to deal with is drama. That's the last thing that your NTIs want to have to deal with. Like, that's bringing unnecessary, you know, attention to yourself. Like, I'm the first to tell you, when I got the basic training, I tried to be like low key i really did not want anybody to know my name like that like i was really trying to be you know just like un pretty much not seen is pretty much what i was trying to do so i had you know made a couple friends or whatever but i didn't get along with everybody in my basic training flight and most people don't like i said you all come back come from different backgrounds so it's kind of hard to get along with everybody but I feel like there are a couple things, you know, tips that I could share with you all as to, you know, how to avoid drama and basic training. So, one, like I said, is to, you know, try to just be low-key. You know, I kept my mouth closed a lot in the beginning. You know, they knew that in my flight, as the weeks went on, if I spoke on something, it's because some, it was something really wrong. It was something that I was passionate about, and it was something that I had to speak on. But for the most part, I kept my mouth closed. I talked to the people that I talked to. You know, I laughed and joked or whatever, but I pretty much, you know, stayed in my little bubble, my little circle. I wasn't at basic training to make friends. I was at basic training to get through basic training and move on to tech school. You know, bettering myself and my family is what I went for. So that was like one of the main things um, is, you know, just being low key. So that's pretty much, you know, like one of the biggest things is just being low key. And number two, do not, and I repeat, do not get involved in other people's drama. If it's something that don't involve you, try to keep your mouth closed. You know, if you're amongst your friends, you know, whatever, whatever, y'all can discuss it, talk about it, whatever. But if they having words, you know, whatever, like try to keep your mouth closed. And that was like a big thing that I had a problem with. You know, if I felt like something was wrong, I was going to say that it was wrong, you know, but I kind of had to learn that, you know, everything didn't involve me, everything didn't need me to speak on it. So that's, you know, another really big thing is just, you know, if it don't involve you, just try to stay up out of that. Like, you know, keep your comments, your opinion, your two cents out of it. Because all it's going to do is make the situation worse. And nine times out of ten, somebody going to end up getting in trouble behind it. It's either going to be you, your friend, or the other person that they're going at it with. So, just try to keep down on all of that. Number three is study. You know, study Try to, you know, learn as much as you can learn. In basic training, you do have, you know, classes and stuff. You do have, like, a BMT study guide. They call it your BMTSG. You do have that. And you have an end-of-course exam that you have to pass. And that's a part of you graduating basic training. So, you know, you can always pull out your book and study. While other people doing other things, you can pull out your book and study. And that's another way to just stay out of trouble. You know, other people doing things they shouldn't be doing. If you're studying, you ain't got to worry about being in trouble, getting in trouble. Um, also in basic training, you know, you got to learn how to make your bed good. You got to learn how to roll and fold your socks, you know, roll your shirts up. Like it's a lot to like keep your wall locker organized, keep lint and, you know, all kind of stuff up at your wall locker, you know, do that, you know, work on your wall locker, you know, work on your clothes, your laundry, whatever, go help out in the bathroom, whatever, just to keep yourself busy and up out of other people's drama best way to best way to do it you know it's gonna help you it's gonna help them you ain't gotta worry about your name being thrown up in something with the mti's because you said this or you said that just find something else to do keep yourself busy and then number four i think this is number four if not but whatever next is 
to pretty much just don't follow up on he said, she said. Um, that's something that I try to do in life is to not follow up on he said, she said. If you don't come directly to me, you know, speaking, whatever, saying whatever, then I don't need to address it. If it ain't got my name on it, I'm not addressing it. So I'm the type of person that if I have an issue with somebody or whatever, I'm going to go directly to them. So if somebody's not coming directly to me with that issue... It don't have nothing to do with me. Like, I don't follow up on he said, she said, like, oh, girl, she said this, or oh, girl, she said that, you know, whatever, whatever. As long as they ain't saying it to me, I could care less about it. So, those are pretty much, like, the biggest things, you know, that I could think of, you know, to help people. Just try to stay to yourself. It's only seven weeks of basic training, and then after that seventh week, you go over to Airman's Week for a week, and when you leave Airman's Week, nine times out of ten, them people that's in your flight, you, girl, it'll be years on down the road if you see them again, you know, maybe one or two might end up at your base, you know, but you don't have to deal with these people on a regular basis. I do, I will say, you know, don't burn your bridges, because the military is small, the Air Force is small, so... Don't be out here just cussing and fussing and doing all the extra to people thinking that you won't run into people again because there is a chance that you might run into those people again. And people rank up, you know, whatever. Those people could be your boss one day or your boss's boss one day or, you know, your boss friend one day. Like, you kind of just don't want to burn your bridges with people. But just, you know, take it as a grain of salt and, and going on with your day. Because at the end of the day, you there to try to make it through basic training. Um, you don't need the added stress and, you know, worrying and frustration on you. So, you know, like I said, after them eight weeks, you going about your business. You go to your tech school. Some of y'all might be going to the same tech school. But shoot, 80% of the people that's in your flight ain't going to the same tech school as you. So, you ain't got to look at their face no more. And if they do go to the same tech school as you, they probably ain't got the same job as you so they probably gonna be in a whole nother squadron a whole nother dormitory so you ain't got to see them because you ain't gonna be in the same dorms or going to the same classes so you know just try to make it through them little weeks you know with guys guys do have drama you will have drama but you don't tend to have you know as much drama or the cattiness and stuff that girls have girls can be catty you know we all first fight you know over the simplest little thing or you know my attitude versus your attitude people had a problem with my attitude in basic training but look this is who i am you could choose to not say nothing to me you don't have to deal with me you know whatever that's the type of person that i am so, yeah, y'all, you know, just good luck with basic training. Just try to, you know, keep to yourself. Stay out of trouble. Don't be getting no 341s pull or no, you know, you for the week of training and stuff. Because you don't want that. You know, you want to leave a good impression on your MTI. You want to have a nice, successful, you know, and like a good experience in basic training. You don't want it to suck, you know. So, just try to get through it. Like I said, keep to yourself. Do your thing shine you know be the star that i know that you could be and don't let anybody else bring you down so that's all that i have for y'all today i'll try to come back with another video like within a couple days so i'll see y'all later bye